So Facebook messaging engine, uh, you know, uh, so if you have been working with Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger uses HBase as a database. So all the real-time chats that you do, they do, uh, you know, they internally use HBase as a database. So HBase is a database being used by a lot of different vendors. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of companies I know, uh, you know, Arjun says lost the audio. Guys, am I audible? So uh, a lot of companies, they have moved from traditional RDBMS to a NoSQL database. So guys, can anybody tell me, when do you think that you can move from a relational RDBMS to a NoSQL database? If you have, if you have a website, you know, if you want to think about the back end of a data, back end of your website, when would you think that it will be good enough for you to move from an RDBMS based solution to a NoSQL solution? Mukesh says four Vs. Uh, not really. Four Vs are totally into Hadoop guys. Historical data analytics, no. Historical data analytics, you do not need a NoSQL database. You need a Hadoop based, you, you need Hadoop. You know the difference between Hadoop and NoSQL, right? Guys, we have talked about it. Hadoop versus NoSQL. There are a lot of use cases where Hadoop cannot be a solution. Shafix is column based operations not on entire web. Yeah. But mostly, I would say, when I need a database, I know that I need a database. I do not need an analytical software. I do not need Hadoop. Hadoop is used for analytical software, you know, decision making process. I do not need analytics. I need a database, but I do not need a transactional based system. I do not, I'm not doing a transactional operation on the database. For example, your, your Facebook post, you're posting something, it's not transaction. Tweeting something, you are uploading an image, you are doing some operation. These are not transactions. These are atomic operations but not transactions. So when you know that you need a database, but you also know that a transactional database is not what you need. You need a database that can handle search, queries, inserts, updates, deletes at a very, very fast rate on huge amount of data, but you do not need transaction. Those cases, you would be better off using a NoSQL database. So in all the new generation of technologies, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, anything you name it guys, all of them are actually replacing their backend database from Oracle to the NoSQL database because they do not do a lot of transactions. But if I'm talking about a banking sector, if I'm talking about a bank, and or, or let's say if you're talking about a, you know, a movie ticket where uh, the movie database name, the movie, the, all the information of the movie can happen in another database, but whenever you go and buy some tickets, the transaction that happens on the ticket, that database, the transactional database, the transactional DB, it has to be uh, your, your uh, RDBMS. Got it? So, uh, HBase, you know, Twitter, you know, uh, Explorisys, you know, uh, Trend Microsystem, Yahoo, Yahoo actually created uh, you know, HBase in certain ways. So all of them are actually using HBase. 